Hey guys, it's Tina Sheth here from Rebalance Physical Therapy in Philadelphia and the main line of Pennsylvania. And today I wanna speak to all of you that might be experiencing some type of abdominal or groin pain after having abdominal surgery. And you know, abdominal surgeries can vary from everything from you know, abdominal surgery to laparoscopic surgery for maybe like a hysterectomy or a prolapse. Um, and for you men, any, you know, any type of, of maybe append, you know, you had your appendix taken out, so I'm an appendectomy. Um, so any of you, men and women, that are experiencing some type of abdominal pain after having abdominal surgery, and you've gone back to the surgeon or you've talked to other you know medical providers and you're not really coming up with any answers or maybe they're telling you oh you know it could be some type of scar tissue i'm here to talk to all of you about what can be done to help um, the pain that you might be experiencing now anytime for those of you that may not know what i'm talking about Anytime that you have some type of incision that is made, especially from a surgery, into the abdomen. So again, for you ladies, C-sections are very common. Um, you know, hysterectomies um, that they go in at like different portals, okay, that they use. And again, for all of you men that might be having any type of, you know, any type of other surgery, appendectomy, any type of abdominal surgery, hernia surgery, anything like that. What can happen is that your body is going to want to heal any type of you know, opening that has basically happened from that surgical repair. And so what happens is new tissue lays down, um, which is called scar tissue. This is not much different than when you get a cut and you form a scab and you know it heals over time. But because any type of surgery is very deep, you also have healing that is happening from the inside out okay now when that happens many times some people well mo everyone's gonna form some type of scar but for some people they're going to form scarring that is more has more tension um, that is is tougher than other people and this can vary for various reasons due to genetics um, just your healing type the way that you heal you know and that can have a lot to do with different you know nutrition um, kind of just the way your body heals um, but what can basically happen is you form scar tissue and that scar tissue you know kind of imagine like a cobweb that can form internally and it can actually adhere on to different things what's in your body different things such as um, other muscles tendons ligaments bones and your organs okay and sometimes even if the scar tissue can wrap around organs it can actually also affect the functioning of those organs um, in our clinic you know because this is kind of a specialty area that we treat we have lots of people coming in um, you know I can't even count how many that we've treated for various types of scar tissue that can cause everything from you know just your general abdominal pain that no one can figure out where it's coming from to you know bladder issues such as frequency urgency um, retention um, it can also cause you know what some people feel like it could be like an ovary type pain for you men it can also cause urologic issues um, you know I, again I can go into all the different case studies that I've seen um, but it can cause all sorts of different um, sorts of organ related pain so I want to show you this picture and this is actually taken, I got it off of clear passage, but this is kind of what ends up happening. So this is basically the, you know, the body and they cut the abdomen off so that you can see the organs. Now, anytime that you have some type of surgery, and I hope you guys can see this, you're going to have scar tissue that can form. So again, just imagine like little cobwebs that have formed internally and depending on how deep they went for your surgery, you know, say if they went in and they did like a C-section, okay, so they cut this area open. So you're going to think, okay, there's going to be a scar, a little bit of a scar there. But if that scar, it, it, you know, there's a lot of different things that happen during surgery. But that scar can actually go pretty deep and adhere down to the bladder. This is a picture of the bladder. It can go down and it can adhere onto 
parts of the intestines. If you have a laparoscopic surgery, you know, depending on where they put the portals, okay, where they go in um, with different instruments that look like thin rods, um, you know, th those are gonna kind of go deep and they're gonna have to move those rods around. So then you can also have scar tissue that forms in all different area, including underneath, you know, this liver area, around the stomach, so it can cause GI distress, um, IBS type stuff, constipation. Um, I just had a woman that, you know, came in the other day. Actually, I've had two women that have come in in the last um, month that both had hysterectomy surgery from a laparoscopic procedure, and they ended up having constipation type symptoms. They're having sharp pain with intercourse. Um, that shoots into the abdomen. Um, you know, one of the women, the main thing she noticed is if she, if she butted up against anything um, or she leaned against a table, that that would cause a lot of abdominal pain that she was having or she couldn't wear tight clothing um, because that would give her pain. And, and one of the other women was also having pain with sitting. So she just had constant pain all the time, but it would actually get worse with sitting. Um, so again, this could be something, if you, if you are experiencing pain after having an abdominal surgery, and again, you've had everything kind of ruled out and no one's been able to give you a good answer, then it could be abdominal scar tissue. Now, what do you do for it? Um, so th now that I've explained that this could be it. Well, you could try working on it yourself, um, just doing some light abdominal massage around the abdomen, okay? But, from my experience, I haven't seen that that's necessarily helped when people are having, you know, symptoms enough where they're seeking out help. And usually what it does need is that it needs the skill and the care and the evaluation from a good pelvic floor physical therapist that really understands how to treat holistically. Okay. So again, I'm a pelvic floor therapist, you know, I've been doing this for about 20 years. Um, and this is what we kind of do at our clinic is we're, you know, anyone who's had any type of um, abdominal surgery um, or any type of scar for that matter um, from a surgery, that's one of the things that we're, you know, evaluating and we're treating. And there's different techniques that pelvic floor physical therapists can use um, that they've learned from a whole host of different courses that they've taken, um, their own self-experience. Um, but there's ways that you can actually um, elongate or, and even break up the scar, okay? So if you do not, if, if you, obviously if you live in the Philadelphia area or the main line around Philadelphia, then you know you can give us a call and, and visit us and we'd be more than happy to evaluate you. We treat this all the time. However, if you don't live in the Philadelphia area, I would encourage you to find a pelvic floor physical therapist that knows how to treat in an integrated holistic fashion that also understands orthopedics because that's going to be a big part, especially for those of you that are also experiencing joint type pain. So maybe a hip pain, back pain, those things like that. But that that could be important too. It's not necessary, um, but it, it could be important. Um, so if you need help finding a pelvic floor physical therapist near your area, then shoot me an email. You can go onto our website. It's rebalancept.com. So that's R-E-B-A-L-A-N-C-E-P-T.com. You can shoot us an email and um, just, you know, let us know if you need help finding a physical therapist. We have, um, you know, there's lots of different physical therapists that I know around the country that are very, very good. And if I don't know someone in your area, I will find you the resource where you can find one. So I hope this was helpful to you and have a wonderful day.